good afternoon everyone and uh, welcome to this uh, session on uh, leveraging the digital oh for innovative and impactful video formats uh, thanks to all the panelists for having agreed to be on this panel uh, let me start this session by uh, asking uh, asking nabindu alok and dheeraj uh, because they happen to be on the supply side of uh, doh on uh, you know what is what is really the difference between a digital oh versus the traditional oh and what are the kind of different formats that are currently available in india okay so before we talk about what is different i think we need to talk about what is common between oh and programmatic doh so i think common is OH and programmatic DOH itself in a media mix become a complementary to other medium which are available in the media mix. Let's say on a social or whatever, let's say on a lecture TV or the whatever the other mediums are available in the media mix. OH and DOH are complement. We have seen where results are like, you know, replicating in a multi, multi-fold or let's say on a social. Whenever a brand is activating OH or let's say DOH, they have seen good results within that media mix. I think this is a, these are commonality. In terms of what is the you know, difference between OH and DOH is, it's just a creative, what is the asset. On OH, you can only showcase static images, I think which over the period of time become dead. On the other end side, let's say for the digital screen, it, you can keep on rotating that creative, which keep on, which can become engaging as well. Like recently, like uh, in the you know, previous session, like Tata uh, ma uh, marketing lead said, you know, they have uh, executed one campaign which was engaging with the social users and the content was showcased on digital screen. I think uh, with the DOH, there are a lot of possibilities are around. The scope of work is tremendous. Like that's the opportunity for the entire industry. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. So Ashish, I've been uh, a part of the industry since what last 17 years or so. And uh, when I started, we were completely a traditional out of home industry. And uh, I'll be very honest, when we talk about OOH as a, as a synonym, so 80% of normal people really don't know about OOH also. They're still related with outdoor. OOH to ek slang humne puri industry ko de diya. Or a DOH bhi gaya, then PDOH will come soon. But then when, when we are taking this shift from outdoor to, PDO, to DOH to PDOH, things have actually uh, changed dramatically in last three to four years. So uh, Dheeraj is representing Lema, then we have uh, uh, add-on more, we have more uh, media owners which are completely focused on the DOH part. The good thing about DOH is that you know, there is no baggage one has to carry. OH, we have to carry a lot of baggage. Uh, we have some uh, systems of sales, which were through agencies, through direct lines. The DOH teams today uh, are very disruptive in nature. They are actually behaving like what startups uh, uh, behave in any industry. So, uh, so to say DOH today is the startup baby of our industry which will actually help disrupt the overall scheme of things. And in next uh, three to five years, uh, the, changes which will be, uh, the changes will be far dramatic and drastic in nature. So to say. Uh, good afternoon. So I will not take anybody's side. I have to buy from DOH guys also. I have to buy from Selwell Numimeta also. So I think, uh, I think DOH has its advantage. There are a lot of brands which are built, we have seen a couple of them, international example, uh, on DOH. There are lots of brands were built on out of home. You know, the famous brand we see, Apple. Uh, worldwide, I don't know how many people you know because we handled my previous agency. Apple as a company across the world, they only use static media. They don't use digital, digital out of home medium. They are different, they want it to be premium and they have done their class and aesthetic and beauty and creative, everything they brought together and they use that as a uh, example across world. So that's that. So in my mind, now let me come back to the point. 
point is in my mind uh, digital out of home is a comparison of a uh, typically a television screen you are watching a movie versus a 70 mm screen you are watching a movie okay so doh has that advantage and now these creative guys have no question about you know what we can do in television ad film and all of that we cannot replicate that here just imagine zuzu campaign is playing on your doh 100 feet by 200 feet okay so it's actually a mobile screen on a steroid as per me doh oh, interesting uh, so one one question that comes to mind from this is that how is this different i mean the kind of formats that i have seen in india how are these different from what is available in the western countries because i have seen a lot of 3d oh happening there there is a lot of lot more than just a flat screen which is a digital screen you know uh, in terms of format so uh, what's 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 the kind of difference that you see in india versus west and how do you think uh, india will go or how soon will india go towards uh, towards what is available there in the western world so it's a very interesting uh, uh, point india today i think maybe in next 3 to 5 years we will be at par with west if not ahead because of the uh, technological leap that we have taken as an economy also and uh, you know coming at par with with all the economies and if you are talking about the anamorphic campaigns that have happened in the west which are you know we see viral videos of nike doing something in japan and they are getting viral here today we uh, la- yesterday only we saw anamorphic campaigns happening in india so i mean there is no uh, lag now in terms of time i mean whatever used to happen abroad is today happening in india we saw a huge uh, drone show by madison which was done a couple of years ago and that was in mumbai the challenge that india today faces is not from the technology perspective it's more from the regulatory perspective when our governments will uh, embrace doh in either ways whichever way it's possible uh, creating a whole new times square here creating a whole new uh, mall uh, square kilometer wherein you can display led screens or digital screens when the regulatory side is ready uh, the media owners and the technology is always available to uh, assist uh, for us let's say you know from you see from a lemmas angle so uh, we talk about platforms actually so we are a ssp platform on the other side of like in the western world we have seen they have created a wall garden so we are the we are the ssp which is dsp agnostic we give a fair opportunity for a advertiser to get a maximum delivery out of that entire campaign and on the other side publisher get a maximum value of that campaign what they deserve so on the other end of western world what they have you know done is they have created a an entire wall garden so they have their own supply and they they have the own demand platform and transaction is happening between their own platform is all only so i can say that like lemma is setting a benchmark as alok said like you know in terms of technology or let's say in terms of a economy we are already already like you know chasing them and very soon we are going to surpass them so uh, in terms of technology and everything like you know we are you know right now in the present and we are very soon we are going to surpass them and ensuring that entire transaction which is happening on a duh is very much transparent you know uh, everyone who is contributing who is a part of that you know entire transaction is getting a maximum value i think that benchmark lemma is creating in the india which is going to replicate in western world of, uh, as well very soon so i think as a format if you ask me if i compare with times square if you go to times square you will see also different sizes you know it is the wall of a building or a, you know vertical horizontal so i think uh, format is uh, very in across world except for the small formats which is mupis and all they are very similar sizes but uh, india also will have different sizes billboard and that will convert into uh, led but what i feel is uh, right now what i see it is not in video format it is in slide show format on the street level close environment level it is uh, video so 
slide show format, what are the limitations? Uh, obviously, limitation will come when in terms of creating a storyboard or stuff. Uh, measurement level, I am yet to know really what kind of measurement is going to come in the uh, international versus uh, India. So, and I think India will have a problem of every city regulatory bodies are different. Okay. What is allowed in Bombay, I think Numi will be able to correct it. Uh, that may not be allowed in Calcutta or in Delhi. So until it comes in, you know, full force across, because India has its all different five, seven, eight regulatory bodies, what Alok mentioned. I think that's the challenge which will come. But I think we are going through a process of, uh, you know, uh, so every, every, I am sure, every country has gone through this process. The good part is this is happening very fast. It's very, very, in six months' time, I'm seeing so many billboards are, digital billboards are converting. And that's good, at least there's a discussion and conference like this is happening, on particularly on the DOH. So I'm sure something best is happening for the industry. Uh, Yadnesh, coming to you, uh, you are the end client, right? You are the, uh, you are the demand side of, uh, so uh, where do you, you know, personally when you, you look at DOH, where do you think DOH fits in your, media plans, do you really look at a particular format or a particular kind of campaign saying that when I have to do X, Y, Z is when I will necessarily need to go to a digital out of home, uh, you know, medium or, or how does it work? So as an advertiser, we always face the uh, in between the supplier and the measurement. So like I'm sitting here today, uh, before coming to the why we choose this digital out of home medium or out of home medium, let me give the uh, some understanding or some context the category belongs to. So we are the home uh, renovation category, home improvement category, where the consumer purchase cycle is long and it is a very planned purchase cycle. So when you have to chase the consumer who has a long and planned purchase cycle, you have to be remain into this consideration set for a longer time and then you have to create impact. So for the creating the impact, we use this out of home medium. Now, why we go with the digital out of home medium? We tried it only the pilot budget has been placed. We tried it the once only and we are still evaluating on this thing. This digital out of home medium has given us the first is the attention because uh, when you create a lifestyle creative, it is a better medium to give those lifestyle creative. So you get those attention, you get those kind of the impact when you get the size or the scale of this thing. The other thing is what we are getting, achieving it through this, this still we are evaluating all this thing. It's give us the clutter breaker also because uh, there is a if you do any campaign there is a some kind of the regional or local brands are there they also use the out of home medium and they do the proximity marketing this many side they come out but once you use this kind of the side because it has a creative it has a attention impact and clutter breaker this give the better impact to the brand so for us is give us the the what we had tried it is given us these three things attention impact and the clutter breaking and then we thought it is giving us the impact to us uh, yeah, as per recent, uh, I was going through some recent industry reports. Uh, right now, what they are estimating is the uh, is the share of out of home or the total advertising pie is about six to seven percent, and it is slated to grow. Is what they are saying, and digital OH is the one who is going to be driving it. Uh, my question to uh, the supply side would be: uh, You think is it a fair share, a six to seven percent growing to a 8%, 9%, is that a fair share? Uh, if yes, why? If no, why? And then next I would like to ask Yatnesh in the same uh, breath as to what is it that you think is lacking? What what would, what should the out of, in, out of home industry do to increase their share in your advertising budget? Yep. Let them give the so answer. Yeah, uh, is it a fair share? Uh, if I'd say yes, I'd be kicked out of the room. So it's not a fair share, obviously. But then we have our own set of unique challenges. Uh, people sitting in the room can't decide if it's fair or not. We are regulated or governed by people who don't know oh, about outdoor. So that's why uh, uh, we are a very small pie. Because simply we cannot, we cannot just tomorrow create 10,000 new sites uh, out of the blue. That's not a possibility. If there was an opportunity, uh, then yes, there is a huge opportunity. If you look at the uh, infra story of India, you just look at the airports, the metros which are coming up, the highways which are coming up, 
the out of home units on those uh, uh, infra will be a force multiplier for the uh, industry overall so we'll have more units to sell even if you talk today about uh, top 20 cities in in india i think somewhere down the line 70 to 80 percent of the out of home media would be more or less occupied so so there is a strong demand about the media with digital out of home coming into picture we see a lot of new clients uh, getting added to the overall pie and those new clients are across supply chain i mean they are from the government side also they are from the retail local retail hyper hyper local retail also they are from the corporate end also so uh, the 6 to 7% even if it moves to around 10% in a, in 2 3 years time uh, i i will not be surprised to be honest so i may also agree with the alok on that incremental brands are coming in who's contributing toward oh industry so they are also like you know you know participating and you know activating the campaign on tuh medium you know and you know some of like you know oh as well so uh, because that that part of like you know uh, uh, overall that media mix now coming back to the how like, is it a fair percentage so right now let's say one brand is spending 100 rupees and you know 6 to 7 rupees is spent on oh but uh, mark my word they're also spending 18 rupees on digital and programmatic is enjoying that party what at lemma what we have done is we have opened those gates for media owners and they can participate via programmatic so they can they can actually you know you know grab that opportunity which lemma has created in india so let's say you are doing a oh campaign and you're getting five rupees from there and there are possibilities you can grab more five rupees you know on your digital screen via programmatic routes so let's say when we're talking about oh major leads on roadside or let's say on a high street but what about let's say is it available in inside the malls no is it available inside that you know restaurants no but there are you know ambient media which is primarily a duh so you can actually get that pie from digital money so i can say yes you know uh, the growth rate will be more than like 10 to 15 percent you know going forward and uh, as Alok mentioned, there are brands who never ever, you know, experience OH. I also agree with uh, Yadnish as well. He said, like, you know, they want to, like, they want to build a, you know, you know, you know, they want to fill actually a top of the funnel. And no one, no one can build that brand overnight. They have to do that, you know, top of the funnel activities, which include OH and DOH also contribute. So it is going to be, it is going to be a, like, you know, you can't miss those, you know, DOH. So, uh, so these days, like every audience is, let's say, traveling via car or let's say, you know, they have you no know, traveling via flights or let's say they are like, you know, inside, you know, uh, resto bars having drinks and spending 50 minutes there as well. So they are not on social media that time. They are not on, you know, watching YouTube, but they are traveling. So they, have, they, they get exposed via OH sites. They get exposed by DUH site within that resto bars. So I think as a OH and DUH collectively, is going to excel and the programmatic demand which is already there that ecosystem is already there media media owners can just participate they can just enter that party and take the pie of that you know that money as well so the six to seven percent is very relative uh, because if we talk about china uh, they are advertising out of home advertising pie is 13 percent okay and if I talk about, I'll take example of, forget about DOH. Uh, the brand who has really taken out juice on the, from the out of home until they went to eight, nine cities, which Hatch, 90% uh, of their spend used to be on out of home. So, you know, uh, there was definitely ROI. There was some way of measurement. They were getting value out of it. So what has actually done wonder that it was 90% money spent until they went to nine cities. So I think it is a lot of answer has to be given by the creative guys because creative is a typically cut paste of press which used to come into outdoor. So while media was expensive, I think uh, creative hasn't done their duties properly and Hatch was the very, very good example. Okay. So in my mind, uh, it is the brand managers or the CMO's decision in terms of, sorry, sir, uh, in terms of uh, 
really taking out juice of the uh, of the medium uh, so you know it can be 20% it can be 25% but on an average yes 6 to 7% now that uh, digital out of home is going to be in play so there is no excuse television campaign digital media campaign and out of home can campaign can be very similar okay so in my mind and when especially it is as large as that okay one particular site can also create history in my mind okay if creativity is used uh, you know my ex boss piyush pandey used to talk about you know there's a lot of discussion on measurement 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 and there was a 6 feet by 3 feet billboard was put for pulse polio okay and they just twisted one leg and it won all the awards across the world you can think of cans to everything and he was presenting somewhere and he said mr brand manager how will i measure this like this like so i am saying if creative plays a role okay it can go viral and it can really work very very differently so i am saying now that digital out of home also is in play so it's really you know thinking that only 2% will increase i am not in agreement it should be double if uh, i have to give the brand side uh, answer on this thing so we don't plan it i think over the year all the marketing uh, teams are not planning based on to the budget allocation they are planning more based on to the audience chasing and i think the creative brief is also going what kind of the tg what kind of the audience and what is the brand objective we are going to achieve it based on that the creative comes and after that we started making the media planning so maybe the what the uh, telecom example or the cola example you are giving in that's the brief or that's the brand objective they are chasing it so it's depend upon the category to category and the brand objective but what is the challenge we are facing it for the using this uh, digital out of home or the out of home as a category because there is not a proper currency or that convincing is not available to our planning rooms so whenever the planner present the plan they always give the i had never seen any plan presentation started in the media plan presentation started with the out of home or digital out of home it always comes at the end so in terms of the priority now even the digital has taken up and digital has started uh, joining the uh, same length and breadth the what the tv is planning is there but it's still the out of home whenever it get presented to us it's always whoever is the media agencies are there is always present at the end and always and most of the time i feel pity when the meeting was ending then they says it quickly try to run the slide and then they show some of the innovation and then waste is all this thing so i think as a medium supplier somebody has to come out with those currency so that it can become so convincing to the advertiser like us and uh, then i think uh, there is a lot of potential available in the medium um, um, of the stage i was talking to him and i says ki in my whole career uh, i had never believed this medium but last 3 4 year i started strongly believing this medium when we tried it and during the covid time and the post covid and then i had seen the results so as a marketer even this has changed my perspective so far no agency has presented this way but i think this medium has a potential but the allocation is not is how the importance going to come in okay, so that brings me to the point of uh, measurement that's where i come from uh, so if you look at all your traditional media okay you talk about tv uh, and i have been personally involved in most of the uh, measurement currencies that exist in this country so be it tam be it the irs nrs for print be it the ram or radio i have been a part of most of them so uh, one of the, one of my observations has been that when tv happened in india 1992 was i think broadly when the cable and satellite has hit us within a year or two the measurement was in place okay the time at time was i think time the people meter system started in 97 98 but the diary measurement was there even before that you look at print you had the irs nrs running is like 30 35 years ago uh, as soon as the radio came into place the fm radio came into place the industry got together and they created ram uh, i'm not getting into the you know how good or bad those you know those currencies are today because that's a, that's a uh, that can probably take another full day of debate uh, but the point i'm trying to make here is that outdoor being there for so long what has really stopped the outdoor industry from coming together and creating a common currency when all the other traditional mediums have something or the other for the advertiser to bank on uh, 
what is really uh, you know stop the outdoor medium from coming together and point number 2 is that now that our digital oh is you know going into a space like you're saying programmatic the newer technology is coming in do you think this is the right time the right opportunity for the at least the digital guys to come together and say let's come and create a common currency start uh so if you look at uh, if you look at television measurement bark came in but the main four five uh, publisher came in invested 500 crore as a starting point okay uh not that we haven't tried we tried way back in 2006 7 so we tried doing something called indian outdoor survey your ex company ashok das was uh, uh given the contract hansa research was doing it uh total top 11 cities uh, the money were picked up also some 2 crore ogilvy i was part of ogilvy so ogilvy was one of the contributor uh what had happened is uh, eventually in two cities means uh you know 60% of the budget got vanished bombay and pune so bombay and pune was done properly very thoroughly mrc was stamping it unilever was part of one of the supporter i think the i think we need to take a clue from and after that nine cities could not be done because he went out of budget so the clue we need to take up from the uh, bark studies publisher needs to come agency obviously now agency and media owner discussion will start but typically agency works on 1 2% and this is not end of the day they are medium they are just facilitator so if television guys they came in and they invested initial monies and today they are actually getting the fruits i think the media owner as a publisher should come in and put in that whatever is the money required because that is the client ask and and that's a serious ask i think uh, need to come in and we need to do that and whatever is the money required if that means if they have put in 500 crore at least 10 crore will go definitely in today's day, day and time okay uh, nilson or whoever can come in then client can come in and they can stamp you know entire body can walk on it so it's a matter of that how that first 10 crore comes in who brings in that money so that's the question so uh before we talk about measurement actually you know whoever is available in the room they know ki measurement is just a escape route just to you know get that you know campaign on board it first of all like you know b- before talking about measurement we must talk about addressability do we really know who's traveling via western expressway in mumbai if we know that we can give them a better solution if we know where the audience is we can plan better after that there is a yes there are solution shape, shaping up which can measure what is the impact of that campaign so first thing is all the brands are building first party data are you are you investing on first party data if yes measurement is there if you if you are let like just you know uh, missing that addressability measurement is impossible whatever whatever third party you know platform you plug in it is going to fail it is going to fall flat you need to invest in you know addressability you have to build it first party data if you know who is passing through your site if you know who is traveling through mumbai airport if you know what is the digital footprint of people sitting in this room you can plan a better campaign by default measurement will give you a fantastic result no one is going to ask you just invest in addressability you'll have the you know measurability by default talking from a media owner perspective see we are in an industry where the fragmentation is so high it's so high that you know uh, i think every second or third year top 20 media owners of india would be changing just because uh, from the back end uh, uh, it's not a it's not a problem statement as such but the tenders that any media owner gets Three years, five years, seven years, ten years at max, not more than that. And during those five to ten years, uh, even if someone comes forward and puts his foot down to, you know, start a measurement currency, to extrapolate that on a national basis, 
it's a herculean task as nabinduda told that you know it has been tried a lot of times in the past and in a lot of cities but until and unless this industry remains fragment and it is expected to remain so um, there there can't be any single measurement tool from the media owners perspective but when we are talking about data as such that how many uh, cars are there on roads how many two wheelers are there on roads and on a, any particular stretch as such then there are many tools which are available it may be google mobility data or it may be any other platform which is offering those uh, uh, the footfall that is happening on that stretch but will that footfall or will that data convert it into a bigger revenue pie uh, then that's again a question which has to be asked from the overall agency side because if you're talking about uh, tam data if you're talking about uh, irs data the assumptions that they are making ashish you will be knowing better what are the wrong assumptions and which are the right assumptions that's why i said mean, i'm not getting into yeah, the exactly so of that's those. why i also don't wish to get into that because i mean we are living, uh, those assumptions are of archaic world today they think that one newspaper is being read by four people in a household and where you know you have three generations and the only the older generation is more interested in newspapers the rest to have already shifted to tabs and when we are talking about tam or bark can we also have the number of uh, data points that they are picking up so we are short of data no second thoughts on that but is the data of the other industry relevant uh, that's a question everyone can answer can i sure 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 so i think uh, look what uh, client will look at is the common currency why they are looking at because different data point won't work for them this has to be put against all media how out, out, out of home is flaring okay now to be able to do that there has to be a common currency measurement by out of home and it has to be done by the industry now as regards to your fragmentation even bark started with only four or five publisher there will be 10 such publishers who were there for 50 60 years so no excuse i think top 5 6 guys should come in and they just put in that money okay whatever that money is 15 crore 20 crore whatever that money is it is finally going to get back to all of us in a much much bigger way and i am party to it whatever percentage i need to give i'll give okay uh, just one uh, other question coming moving slightly away from uh, measurement and this is on the creative bit uh, i had only not originally not thought of that but uh, as that part came up here uh, and this is a question to all of you uh, is that typically when uh, when digital started becoming big in this country there's always this debate about saying that should a television campaign be copy pasted onto the mobile screen you know or should there be a different creative and we have seen that in some cases and i've been a party to it i've run enough research on that is that in some cases a copy paste works as well but in some cases you need to have uh you know a different kind of creative and there are the rules are different you know because the sizes are different the uh, the mentality with which the consumer is consuming it is different a tv is a late back medium a mobile is a you know uh, go forward medium outdoor what, what are your thoughts on that especially when you get into a doh where today you have you know uh, the the opportunity to create whatever creatives you want uh in terms of either it being stills or it being a video or it being you know uh you know you have those rotating uh so thank you for asking this question actually i think there is huge opportunity uh, in today's world to open an outdoor based creative agency i mean if if and and that's what i was discussing a couple of days ago with a friend that you know we need to train a lot of people today either in out of home space or in digital out of home space or creative out of home space you know the presentation of lim uh, in the morning it clearly suggested that 40 47% of the uh, efficacy of the campaign was based on the creative and still we are getting a lot of campaigns which are just cut copy paste because as uh, mr pandey told us that you know we are the last uh, we are the last slide in the presentation and that's a fact we have to accept that so when we are the last slide in the presentation how can we accept anyone to folk or any creative team as such to focus on out of form creative and look at it from a very different perspective you will not believe 7 days ago one of our campaigns just got canned 
in digital out of form space because this the creative approved was 2 is to 1 not is not 1 is to 2 that's such a minor difference but the client approvals it takes what i mean the hierarchy just from 2 is to 1 to 1 is to 2 takes a week to get approved so that's where you know uh, uh, i'll actually work on it the creative out of form agency and uh, by next year i think we we should come up with some good creatives and focus creatives which are only working in out of home space because we are different out of home is a different we are special rather it's a special uh, child of the overall media industry and it needs special focus because we can this special child can actually create wonders for the other mediums i am bit disagree on that slightly so i'll tell you why every brand so you know whenever they are sending a emailer or let's say they are you know buying a spots on let's say on tv or let's say they are doing a social campaign or let's say whatever there is a the media mix or whatever wherever they interact with their dg they want to leave a experience which is a unified toward their brand so that's the reason that creatives are like that it's it's not just a you know intentionally copy paste is just because of they want to leave a one experience with wherever they are interacting with their tg or with their existing consumer in fact let's say you know these days you know they they talk about like you know personalization as well at a scale you know they want to build a great experience around you know with their you know uh, all the touch point wherever it is even let's say you know so when you let's say you know let's say you interact with you know these are banks let's say when you swipe your idfc you know you know credit card and you get a message which is completely personalized so uh, they are doing it intentionally so what i feel is like you know because i i belong from a martech platform as well so so they want to create a one unified experience if if they are talking about one communication on social they want to replicate on oh as well so they they want to build a one unified experience so let's say they are launching one brand they they can't change that communication yes there can be some tweaks and up and down toward when they are creating a let's say reproducing a one asset for a oh on a for a, you know for a banner or let's say they are utilizing you know converting into you know video as well or let's say they are you know ingesting some a caricature but the communication the assets are more or less same because of a purpose which is you know want to create a one experience so that you know let's say i have seen an advertisement on oh which is a bigger side on let's say on western express highway next day when i'm traveling from mumbai to delhi on arrival screen i can see the same messaging on arrival you know uh, baggage belt screen and next day when i'm you know let's say i am on a mini tv on amazon i see the same sort of you know uh, you know uh, assets so just connect me with that brand i can recall what they want to communicate i can i can immediately connect with that brand so that something you know brand you know silently at a back end try to you know drive that you know approach i think that's the reason it's not a copy paste uh, i can und- i can understand like you know even you know we as a lemma we also face lot of challenges in terms of custom sizes because all the sites got you know custom sizes and brand primarily produce one video which meant for tv or which meant for youtube because they are the one who is getting maximum you know spend out of you know their their the investment so i can understand what is the pain behind that you know even we are also facing that it's 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 kind of a operational challenge i can see that it's not a problem at all uh i think creative agency the television company the creative team who works on television network television campaign uh digital creative agency is completely different because each medium is different and they need to be treated differently uh so as of now it is the out of home comes and the traditional media so basically the creative agency uh works on television campaign as well as out of home campaign and press campaign but digital creative is done differently so the now my question is that why when it's a different channel of media wherein audience movement speed one billboard to the other billboard has a different challenge someone some one billboard has you know street light junction 2 minute the visibility time is 2 minute the other billboard is 
you know you are running at a faster speed so obviously your logo sizing to your image to your everything needs to be changed i agree with allo each medium to be treated differently without changing the theme what you are saying is theme theme can continue across but the content which is has to be done on out of form has to be different and idea cafe is working on that basically we are specializing in content creation okay that is what we are working on and mainline creative people are working with us to build that if if i have to give the advertiser side view on this thing so our brief to the creative is always to achieve the certain goals and based on that goal they create a messaging so i think gone are the days when we do the adaptation like this creative goes on to this adaptation is it has gone it's almost over you are right sambhay nabandu there is a digital separate teams are there to so they come out with the separate version of the creative the intent remain the same but yes out of home uh, that's kind of the creativity is not coming out because the within the creative team the teams are not that tuned sometime they try to do the experiment and sometime they try to do the some kind of the innovation this kind of the idea they trying to bring out but there is a scope is available so th- i think that's will make the creative is more convincing for the out of home like you mentioned the example of the apple so maybe they had thought it the creative on that yeah. way to showcase this uh, picture and this product feature so that's the challenge is there uh, thank you gentlemen i think uh, we are already over time